Howdy do, and how are you all you fine folks out there in the internet's worlds? Um, welcome to another mm-hmm. episode of the First Time Film Club. My name is Emily, the titular, I winked weirdly on that, first timer. Uh, this is Matthew, my husband, Cinema Sherpa, and viewer submitted title, Picture Palace Professor. Yeah, okay. and I that like yeah, that one was uh hold on, I can't read my own. It's too small. Uh, Brian Orzel. 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 I'm sorry, I made the screen really small, and I don't know why, cause I'm a dumb. Yeah, you blind. Um, you blind so, as shit. A little bit, yeah. Brian, though, thank you so much for submitting. <laughs> and if you too would like to hear me butcher your uh Matthew's title, uh, please submit one in the comments below. <laughs> Uh, using hashtag title so that I can see it yeah. uh, more easily. It, you can search for that. It makes it a lot easier. Yeah. All that nonsense out of the way. What are we doing here? Oh my gosh. Well, you tell me. Well, I'll tell you and I'll tell you. We're watching our way through a very, very long list of movies that I have never seen, but that Matthew has. So he is guiding me, i.e. Cinema Sherpa. Um... Huh. And as is tradition, Matthew, what are we watching tonight? Yeah, today. today, it's not tonight. It's like no. it's like eight thirty in the morning. Yeah. So. Well, today, this morning, yep, we are watching the nineteen seventy eight comedy National Lampoon's Animal House. And as per usual, I only give you the title and genre, and you let everybody know what you know about the movie. Then we watch the movie and we discuss it afterwards. So, what do you know about Animal House? I know three things for certain. Three things for certain. For certain. I know. I said for certain and immediately was like, is it not for certain? Mm-hmm. Go ahead, tell us your certain. I'm reason. pretty for sure that John Belushi is in this. Okay. I'm also pretty sure that this is. A... <laughs> Brain, come on. John Landis. Land- okay. God, I'm being already screwed it up. Oh, God. I don't know. You may I think that that's mm-hmm. the director. And I know that there's an episode of Futurama. Is there a single one of these that we've done that we don't reference something from I don't know. You were, we, we watch Futurama. Oh, one we of do. The, it's like the, the background the... show. You know, like, it's like, oh, we got like 20 minutes to burn. What do you want to do? Yep, go on to Futurama. Anyways, um, there's an episode. It's like Robot House uh, that I think is affiliated with this particular movie. Mm-hmm. It may be. That's that it? it? That all you got? That's all. T- I think John Belushi, there's something <clears throat> about a pimple mm-hmm. with he's got like mush in his mouth and he like. I'm going to go ahead and start off by making a note. Oh, here. go ahead. Make your note. Yeah. If you do see, if you're new to the channel and you see Matthew on his phone throughout the video, he's taking notes because he's seen it already and he wants to uh, make sure he covers the random well, stupid just, yeah. things that I missed. <laughs> Yeah. Well, no, it's uh, whenever we first start doing videos, after we get done with them, like I would think of something like, mm-hmm. oh, we should talk about that. So now I like to take notes, try to make sure I talk about, get everything in that I'm thinking of. Uh, speaking of things that I usually forget because I'm just dumb, uh, this is also the Patreon poll winner. Uh, so this video, the full length reaction will be available to um, on our Patreon. So interested in seeing that or any of the other full-length reactions that we've done go ahead and check the description there's a link down yonder uh and that'll take you right to it um but yeah that's that's all i know that's i feel like there's probably a bunch of cultural references that i don't actually know come from this movie but i like know the references like i know the bits there's none of the source material so i guess we'll see I guess we'll see. <laughs> well, I'm ready to watch the movie. I'm gonna make one more quick note, but <laughs> it's always exciting. We haven't even started and making notes. Um, but yeah, all right then. If you're ready and I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay. Let's watch the movie. Here we go. Hey, it is John Belushi. 
That's one of your three certainties. Mm -hmm. You're doing great, kid. You're doing great. Harold Ramis, okay. Cool beans. Not seeing a Landis uh, yet, but okay. Yeah, I have a Reitman. Yeah, that is correct. Yeah, do I land it? Okay, thank God. <laughs> I got nervous. Hi there, fellas. I'd like you to meet Ken and Lonnie. Larry. I'd like you to meet um, Muhammad, uh, Jugdish, Sydney, and Clayton. Uh, oh. Mm -hmm. I'm already finding this painful. <laughs> I'm Greg Marmalard, president of Omega House. Bitch, no, you're not. <laughs> Marmalard. Mm-hmm. Great. I heard Delta's the worst house on campus. It's all a matter of perspective. Excuse me, sir, is this the Delta house? Ew. Sure. Talk about a warm welcome. <laughs> I love you so much! He looks like... If John Mulaney and Justin Long had a baby. Why are you so interested in my social life? Where's Katie? She thinks you're an immature jerk, huh? Yeah, I don't take anything seriously. So much leopard print. Okay. She'll take this seriously. That's right. Hey, are you guys coming down? This thing talk. <laughs> Good, I see you've met D-Day. It, creepy Freddie Mercury. <laughs> Is this really what you're gonna do for the rest of your life? What do you mean? Indiana Jones. So. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised you hasn't recognized Larry yet. The one that I said that looks like John Mulaney's kid? Just tell me, because my brain is Amadeus. Done. Who? Amadeus. Oh. What do you intend to do, sir? Delta's already on probation. Then, as of this moment, they're on double secret probation. <laughs> secret probation, sir? Uh, I... Oh. State your name. I state your name. Oh, you no. <laughs> well, what's my Delta Tau Kai name? Dorfman? You've given this a lot of thought. Oh, God, no. From now on, your name is Flounder. Could have been a lot worse. Mm-hmm. We now consecrate the bond of obedience. Um, oh, Jesus. Oh, they straight up like... Mm -mm. Oh, no. Assume the position. Oh! <laughs> I didn't know this was this kind of movie. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Oh, it is this kind of movie. Thank you, sir. The most intriguing character, as we all know from our reading, was... Satan. I hate that you drew that in the middle of the board. <laughs> that bothers me. Don't write this down, but I find Milton probably as boring as you find Milton. I'm waiting for reports from some of you. No. I'm not joking. This oh. is my job. Oh, <laughs> baby. Fuck this. Shit. Is that what this... Ah! <laughs> Just over it. Just... Come on. <laughs> You've known that lunch lady. Mm-hmm. Hell, I've been that lunch lady some days. You're all worthless and weak. Drop and give me 20. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Look, you guys, don't embarrass me in front of Dave, okay? He's the only professor I like. Now, teaching's a way of paying the rent. Till I finish my novel. How long have you been working on it? Four and a half years. Oh, that's not that's that bad. Very good. Piece of shit. <laughs> Anybody like to smoke some pot? <laughs> oh. Is this just pot, bro? You were like. Are they, are they in a bathtub? Why are they in a bathtub? I won't go schizo, will I? Oh. It's a distinct possibility. No, don't. That's a lie. <laughs> Me for madness. Unless, of course, he laced it with something. The way he was locking everything down, there's a distinct possibility. <laughs> that means that our whole solar system could 
be one tiny atom in the fingernail of some other giant being. For sure. Too much. It's a Uh It's a microverse. Could I buy some pot from you? <laughs> Do not sass up to a horse like that. <clears throat> Typically, one does not muck stalls whilst the horse is in there with you. No. Yeah, baby. <laughs> no, stop yeah. it. Stop. I hate that. Yeah, hate it. Mm. Uh. <laughs> you better not hurt that pony. He's in there. <laughs> Boy, is this great! <laughs> what the? Now finish it, Flounder. Just blanks, right? Right. <laughs> well, I know what your least favorite performance this movie's gonna be. Little. Hey. Hey, I think you know everybody here. Don't you have any respect for yourself? This is absolutely gross. <laughs> I get the sense that there are no heroes See if in you can this guess movie. But I am now. <laughs> I'm a zit. Get it? Greg, is anything happening yet? My arm's kind of tired. Maybe a little faster. Darn it, Greg. If you're not even going to try, I'm just going to stop. The level of preparedness that she had to <laughs> be. Okay. Alright. Just happened. Random ladder. I mean, titties. <laughs> but also... No, bruh. Bruh. Stop it. Y'all are some deaf ass bitches. Like, <laughs> okay, that was funny. <laughs> He's still a creepo, titties. Yeah, you gotta look at this, you know, through the lens of the time it was made. Uh, yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> that a few bad apples have to spoil a good time for everyone by breaking the rules. Put a sock on it, boy, or else you'll be out of here like shit through a goose. <laughs> What are you doing? Fixing your sweater. Hey, I could get in trouble. It's just a prank. I'm pledging a fraternity. Don't sweat it, sweetie. I won't tell. You just smuggled out like $200 worth of meat. Like. Damn. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, nothing. Damn, girl, hard day at work. Give me some more punch. Okay. Got oh. a lot of catching up to do. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. I don't feel good about this. I think she's too young for you, dude. Oh, shit. Mama Warmer, drunk. <laughs> just a little bit. Just a, just a little bit. Now just a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> so this is very much where like American Pie got their shtick, right? Stifler situation. Uh, pretty much any raunchy teenage college movie. <laughs> I think it's locked or something. Jesus Christ. <laughs> These bras are killing me too. Like, they're just like, Bitch, did you just throw gum? Get out. She drunk. Yeah. She real drunk. Oh, no. <gasps> What is that? What is that? Oh. That no. is a shopping cart. No, no. I'm. Oh, the, yeah. the lawn ornament? Yeah. You'd be surprised. 
surprised at some of the girls he's had. She looks like a poodle. <laughs> Buy me a dinner tonight? Can't tonight. Busy. Busy boning that professor. Because he's like older and mature and like makes you think things with your brain mm. and your body. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> What's that accomplishing? Tell those assholes to shut up. Hey, shut up, you asshole! <laughs> <laughs> the issue here is not whether we broke a few rules or took a few liberties with our female party guests. We did. You can't hold a whole fraternity. I hate it. Assholes! Jesus. What's going on? They confiscated everything, even the stuff we didn't steal. Shit. <laughs> Questions. Ah, thanks. I needed that. Was that an actual bottle? Like it being John Belushi, it would not surprise me if it's actual whiskey. But you sure we have dates? Absolutely. Boom. What's this chick's name again? Vaughn Leibowitz, and she was from Fort Wayne, Indiana. I hope I score. Oh boy. You have a girlfriend. You have a gorgeous girlfriend. Hi, I'm Shelley Dubinsky, Vaughn's roommate. What's the matter with everyone around here? Why don't we sit down, Frank? Oh my god, that motherfucker looked through the obituaries. I don't know how to tell you. <sighs> well, I just don't think I should be alone tonight. Would... Would you go out with me? Wait till Otis sees us! He loved us! I doubt it. You just paid him to perform, mate. Smile, child. <laughs> All right. I need you so much. You need Jesus. <laughs> You're terrible. Do you mind if we dance with your dates? Why no? Not at all. <laughs> Me is why Fawn would have gone out with boys like that. They reminded me of criminals. They are criminals. I'm out of here, Katie. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. Just ruin multiple individuals' nights and or evenings or lives, and just bounce. I'll swear. <laughs> You were doing a great job taking care of his car. And this morning, it was gone. D-Day takes care of the wreck. We report it to the police. Your brother's insurance company buys him a new car. Mm-hmm. I missed you. Boone, I, I was going to try and call you. Mm-hmm. Boone, I don't know what to say. Why are you mad? Why are you fucking mad? You just like tried. Oh my god. Two C's, two D's, and an F. Mm. That's a 1.2 grade average. Shit. Congratulations, Kroger. You're at the top of the Delta Pledge class. Damn. <laughs> Mr. Dorfman. Hello. 0 0.2. Fat, drunk, and stupid is no way to go through life, son. <laughs> Greg, honey, hmm? is it supposed to be this soft? Oh, babe. <laughs> Christ. Seven years of college down the drain. Oh, my God. My mother's going to kill me. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I don't know what y'all are upset about. Jesus Christ. What happened? Come up and. Hey! What's this lying around shit? Well, what the hell is supposed to do, you moron? Uh. I'm not gonna take this! Warmer! He's a dead man! Marmalade! Dead! Nehemiah! Dead! Who knows right? We gotta take these bastards. You are not the underdogs here! Fight him with conventional weapons. <laughs> Damn. 
go. Yeah, that tracks. I'm sorry. I'm pulling up my notepad because oh. I want to make some notes. Oh, okay. There's something I have to tell you. I lied to you. I've never done this before. I was drunk. okay, Larry. Neither have I. And besides, I lied to you, too. Oh, yeah? What about? I'm only 13. They went a lot younger than I thought it was going to. Are you about to get whacked in the head? <laughs> I'm laughing more at your reaction than the movie. I know. That was solid. Shit. Shut up, Kevin Bacon. <laughs> oh boy, is this great? No! No, this is terrorism! Just gonna steal this lady and this car. Just... <laughs> Guy became a senator. Yep, that Makes tracks sense. too. Yep. Yep. Is this over now? Yep. Okay. Okay. So, that was Animal House. National Lampoon's Animal House. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Overall thoughts? aptly named I probably a lot of probably gonna bum a lot of people out because I know a lot of people thought that I would really enjoy this movie but I there were some funny parts there were some there were some funny bits yeah but overall this movie certainly does not hold up in the current in the present time yeah yeah there's quite a bit in the film that does not age very well yeah <laughs> so we took a little moment between the movie and the review to you know have our quick little bio break stand up stretch assess notes and i i i went through just my brain i didn't actually ask matthew so these are just the ones that I wrote down. Uh, as far as like the large, large list of crimes committed by these, which I believe the movie touted as the protagonist. The protagonist. Underage drinking. Statutory rape. Massive property damage. Vehicular assault. I don't know if that's the appropriate thing they tried to harm, maim, and or murder people with vehicles. Uh, kidnapping. Theft. Lots of theft. Breaking and entering. Animal cruelty. Voyeurism. And those are just the ones that like I thought about in about the five minutes that we took to like <laughs> take a moment. Yeah, there was a part in the movie where you looked over and said, so there's like no heroes in this no, movie. No, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I, correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe there's some kind of silver lining here because like, and also like, let me preface all of this with, I am a fan of raunch. I thoroughly enjoy, you know, unnecessary nudity, raunchy humor, unnecessary cursing. I think you all know this by now. Anybody mm -hmm. who's watched any of our other videos, you're well aware. But raunchiness does not, in my opinion, uh, justify that glorification of horistic behavior. Oh. I said horistic. Horrific? I, yeah, that. That's how <laughs> beflundered I am right now, kind of by this movie as a whole. Like, 
any sorry yeah there are there yeah. are yeah like i said there's some a good bit that has not aged well that is you could say problematic i i could say because <laughs> it'd be the truth <laughs> um i think the thing so i'll back up say harold ramus did this and uh landis was this made as kind of like an introspective like a look at like hey bt dubs this is how like the fraternity society is in case you weren't aware like as a whole this isn't okay like was it was it kind of made with the thought of like oh we're gonna like kind of you know poke the situation by using like humor uh to make it make it make a statement about the situation i don't, no. I don't think it was i think this is no, just I on the nose was. like yeah oh this is funny which bums me out. Um, if y'all know different, if you happen to know that, like, yes, Emily, you're right. This is, in fact, actually, like, kind of satire. And it's okay. Um, I don't believe so, but I might be wrong. I know. I know it's a different time. It doesn't yeah. make it any it, easier to watch. It, um, it's still sometimes, like, I'm trying, like, I try to view it, like I said, through the lens and of the time period it was made in and the time period it was reflecting yeah like it was made you know 77 78 and it was reflecting the 60s and i get it i think it was because of like the caricatured nature of it you know that it was so much more than you know just the the, the sum of its parts you know every character was so audacious and that it's it's a little overwhelming like I don't, it's just rough it's just rough for me it was a rough one it for was you. a rough one for me um well what about what about you oh no did you have any favorite scenes i know you had probably a few least favorite scenes um the playboy and, bunny through the window that just tickled me outright like you, that God. that was funny to me donald sutherland Yes, thank you. I needed that. I thank you very much. Yeah, I liked him a lot. I loved his character. Uh -huh. I loved like his whole vibe, man. Um, it's just like my job, you guys. Come on. Yeah, just be be honest. I don't. I want you to. I'm gonna be real honest. Then. I want you to be honest and. I didn't like. Don't, I didn't don't, like this movie. Don't fake it. No, I I've <laughs> I feel like I've been really really cool with a lot of films um even the ones that we didn't like i'm gonna say something extremely controversial oh boy <laughs> i would watch howard the duck and the room twice again before watching this movie <laughs> yeah so that, that may me, be I that guess. may be a, a bit controversial to some people <laughs> um <laughs> Uh, yeah, so least favorite, least favorite parts. But again, I would prefer you be honest like that then. I, than, I am so. Fake something. This <laughs> is like, I enjoyed the, um, you know, I enjoyed the nudity. I, that was always fun. I just hated some of the like context that the nudity was associated with. Like um, you know, the voyeurism peeping Tom like, through the window. Yeah, like. I get the okay yeah that, that's like a standing bit and everything i don't know man john belushi does a really did a really good job of being and creepy and like very like psychotic and i i like i know that people there are people in this world that view that character as like a cool dude and like a real neat character and i'm like there's nothing about that cat redeeming like he's a bad human like he's a bad person i think that's the biggest thing that like got me i was going into this thinking that it was gonna be kind of like a coming of age the scrappy underdog scrappy underdog i was thinking it was gonna be the futurama episode it was not it was not <laughs> it was not at all like there were no protagonists in this film um Every, everybody sucked, except Otis Day. Um, there's that. 
I like that. <laughs> I liked all those songs. Too bad I can't put them on the Mewtwo's, but... Yeah, I probably have to cut that bit out. <sighs> um, Sadly. Least favorite mm-hmm. parts, I would say, are definitely... Uh, the whole horse situation. Like, I get the bit. I know. I know. I obviously know that the real horse did not die. I know that no, it wasn't whatever. I just... The whole concept behind it is not funny to me. Like... If you're going to prank somebody, I don't use living creatures that can't consent. That's not cool, man. I don't care if it's even like mice. Like, don't do that. Like, they're they're alive. Y'all know how I feel about animals. So, like, <laughs> this that whole incident was, like, a hard no for me. Oh, God, there were just so many things. <laughs> the whole end. The whole end. I'm just like, you got punished for all the stupid, horrible, dumb things you did. You got punished... For not going to class or for like having atrocious mm-hmm. grades and being, you know, all those things that I listed earlier. You got punished for that. So your 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 grandiose like uh, leaving statement is to to create a riot and try and and mow people down with a car? Like, no, you're not a hero. You're a terrible person. You deserve jail time. Yeah, that was a bit of, you know, just a little bit of attempted vehicular just a manslaughter. Scooch, just a scooch, if you will. Possibly. Um, I so yeah, I did not enjoy that. Um, I did not like, one of the things that just I didn't get at all was flounder when they took his brother's car when he begged them not to and then like and, and then when they brought it back and they were like oh well let's fuck so let's insurance fraud there's the other one <laughs> let's just have a little insurance fraud it'll be fine um but like when they went out and lied to those girls used an obituary yeah they're not great guys no they're horrible <laughs> humans um like i just uh, Flounder. He had like this gorgeous, lovely girlfriend. And who, he went off and was who like, I didn't hope I leave, get laid. Who didn't leave him the moment he walked her through that fucking house and got a beer bottle thrown at her head? No, sir. Thank you. Good day, sir. I, I heard that left. was uh, John Landis throwing the bottles. Johnny, why? Because they were breakaway bottles and he was trying to like break tension. And... Oh, okay. But yeah, like. Had that gorgeous, lovely girlfriend, and then was like, I hope I get, I hope I score. Like, bruh, what? What on so many levels? And then, and then, oh, what's his doof? Uh, Otter or, or Otto or whatever the hell his name was. He's like, what was the girlfriend's name? The one, Indiana Jones, the, the brunette. Katie. Katie, yeah, sorry, Katie. And no, that was not Otter. That was Boom, Boom. Boone? Boone. I'm real bad with names. They had just like, you know, that other white boy. <laughs> there were um, quite a few of those. Like when he's like, oh, I can't believe Katie's cheating on me. You just went like out of town to try and score or bit obituary ladies. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry. No. I thought it was a... You might catch some flack. I mean, because, I'm yeah. sorry. This is that's fine. Uh, like I said, it, I would rather you, you know? be be honest about it. You, what you really feel about the movie. Sorry, gang. If this is like <laughs> one of your all time favorites, like if you saw it when you grew up, I get it. There's probably like some things are viewed different when you are younger and when it's in a different time frame. Like I understand that. But being that I'm like about to be 35 and like I've just now seen this, <laughs> it's different for me. It hits different. So yeah, I'm sorry if there I'm crapping were... on like one of your favorites. I'm not doing it to you. I just this movie bums me out. <laughs> but yeah, uh, when I watched it when I was younger, probably shouldn't have. But <laughs> probably should have watched a lot of things when I was younger. But yeah, we've established was, that. Yeah, uh, yeah, there were things that were you know funny to me. But uh, growing up, watching it as I got older, yeah, it became more and more like, oh, like they're not really good guys. <laughs> like they're, they're not really, you know, as you said, they're not the heroes. Yeah. They're not. So, anyways, 
Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I promise I'm not crapping on you and your opinion necessarily and your any <laughs> fond memories you have of this film. It's just, it's one night for me. Yeah, it, well, what would you, uh, <laughs> what would you rate it? I'm trying to make an amalgam of like the way the movie was actually shot, like the cinematography, like soundtrack, all of those things, along with like my emotional opinion of the movie. <laughs> so the combination of all of that, I'm going to say 2.2. 2.2. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, some people are probably going to give you a hard time I'm for so that. Sorry. But and I'm fine. That point two, that point two. Mm hmm. Because of the titties. <laughs> <laughs> Point one, point two. Point one, okay. point two. Okay. Um, I know. I'm sorry, guys. I really didn't dig this one. Um, that's okay. Everybody's got everybody's got some, you know, that they just can't get into. It's not for everybody. I'm trying to think if I remember anything from like behind the scenes. Oh, I'm pretty sure this was Kevin Bacon's first like major movie. I think this is his first. I think he did like a TV show or something before this, but this was his first major movie. And I know, like at the at the uh, at the premiere, like they didn't believe he was in the movie, so he couldn't sit with the cast. <laughs> At least that's what I remember the story being. And I know Donald Sutherland didn't believe in the movie. He took he was he was on set for like two or three days mm -hmm. shooting, and he took a flat fee of seventy five thousand dollars instead of a percentage mm. like of the profits. Yeah. If he had taken the percentage, he would they said he would have made somewhere between three and four million. It sucks. <laughs> you would, that you sucks, but like yeah. I also get like I get the mentality behind it, especially that he wasn't like you know, that super involved in it. You know, like yeah, huge I role. knew it. It's been a couple years since I've seen it, <laughs> but I've seen it a lot growing up, and I've also seen uh, like they would rerun it on like TBS or TNT, but it was heavily heavily edited. edited yeah, I knew there were going to be some things that were problematic. Mm -hmm. Said they didn't age very well at all, and you're gonna. And another concern of mine was, uh, like, whenever you started in the beginning, you talked about the Futurama episode, Robot House. Mm -hmm. That's the note I made in the beginning. I was afraid that it's been... One week. Nope. Since you looked at me. Nope. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> no. I love you. It's, uh... It's been parodied and ate and, like, homage so much... Like, because I'm pretty sure there was nothing like this at the time. Like yeah. every so every other irreverent, raunchy, like teen college movie is basically spawned from yeah, this. Yeah, this was the Godfather of it all, if I'm remembering correctly. I believe. Like, you. <laughs> so I was afraid that it would be like basically you've seen everything from this in other things. Mm -hmm. Like American Pie or Van Wilder, like any of those, that uh, it wouldn't hit the same for you. It basically was, it's like, you know, I've seen this before. Yeah. Type thing. <clears throat> I mean, I definitely had moments like that, but like, I mean, I'll still watch, I'll still watch those movies. I'll still watch other movies uh, like that, you know, like I said, mm -hmm. like, I enjoy raunchy movies. Like, <laughs> I mean,. Yeah, the crew type humor is your type humor. Yeah. Um, I don't know. This it went past raunch for me. So, <laughs> so there were yeah, there was too many things that were too problematic. For yeah. So. That's okay. Well what about you? What what about your rating? Uh Be honest. I got yeah, I'm 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 calculating like you were. I'm, and I'm you looking saw at saw this as as a young person. I saw it as a person, young so. young person and it was Hilarious then to me. Uh, saw it, you know, as I was growing up, rewatching it, it got, it honestly got less funny. Like as I was getting older, like there's things that still hold up mm -hmm. that still. Like I said, there were some funny bits in there. Like... Yeah, as I, as I started growing older, you know, I, there were things that were in there that were just like, kind of, hmm. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know if I should be laughing at that. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that means I don't have a sense of humor. I don't know. No. But. Disagree. You may have But I will, you know, and I also give it credit for its place in history in film. Yeah. Because it's, like I said, it's like the godfather of all those, you know, movies that came after it and that are college-based humor or. Yeah. 
like high school, like American Pie, you know, Van Wilder, things like that. So I would probably give it a five. Okay. Like I wouldn't, for me, I wouldn't sit down and rewatch the whole thing again. Mm -hmm. That's just me, but you know. I would watch clips of it. Yeah, like that I found funny. Like I said, there, there's like specific scenes I would watch again, but yeah, I mean, there's there's a few th bits in there that you know were quite funny that I laughed at. Um, so, and I do appreciate those, and I appreciate the, I appreciate the concept of the movie, and I like you said, kind of its place in history or whatever. Like, I really appreciate what it. What it was in that it set the, you know, the parameters or whatever for yeah, the movies to come. because without that, you wouldn't have the American yeah. You wouldn't have old school. You yeah. wouldn't have PCU. Like, you wouldn't have a lot of those movies, probably. So, yeah. Or maybe you would. Maybe I'm wrong. Mm. But a lot of it has been taken from this movie. Mm -hmm. They just toned back those other aspects. <laughs> yeah. So, what else? Anything else from you guys? Uh, no, I think we covered it all. <laughs> this <laughs> just to, I just have to say again, guys. I promise, <laughs> I am not trying to shit on your memories. If like you <laughs> love this movie coming up, I'm proud for you, man. I'm happy for this you. This would probably be your lowest rated movie. Yeah, probably the most our most disliked video. Probably, <laughs> I, and I understand that. Like I, like I said, I get it. Uh, this is just my opinion. I am just one. Uh, reaction reviewer um so yeah <laughs> <laughs> um it was a different time it was, was a making. different time i get that i do understand uh but speaking of time i think it's about time to wrap it up uh if you don't mind even if you don't love my opinion I'd still appreciate a like <laughs> rather than a dislike <laughs> i really would now do whatever you want do and I guess I'll just cry about it later. It's not fine. even. <laughs> Let us know if you agree or disagree in the comments, yeah. and why or why not. And if uh, if what I said earlier, if you know like that, you know Landis or Ramus or anybody who may have ever else was in, like was this super just as it is? Like was this just meant to be like college humor? raunchy fun, or was it kind of like a like oh look at this? If you have any interesting background on it backstories mm -hmm. um you know we love the tidbits like the the, the commentary in a sense uh so mm -hmm. let us know about that for sure what are some of your favorite parts what are some of your least favorite parts let us know what you think so yeah like comment uh if you're not already subscribed to the channel please do say so you can stay up to date on all of our shenanigans mm -hmm. and yeah anything else from you love i think that covered it all right well, you guys have a great day, and uh, we will see you all next time with another first time. Bye.